welcome back again to like v designs today we're going to be sewing a flay gown and this is very easy to make it's simple and is a casual very simple dress that can turn to a sophisticated dress that it depends on how you wear it and this is simple to make so let's get right into the video so to do this i have for the lower part of this dress i just have two yards two yards i'm going to be spreading this out for you to see the material is, is that long this is just two yards and i'm going to be folding it into two like a scarf you know as if i want to fold the scarf in a scarf you know form i'm just folding that now so after i folded it i am going to be cutting this into two i'm going to I'm, i made sure that it, i folded this, the material like a scarf into two equal sides and i'll cut this way cut it open so now i've cut it open this is just one of the sides and i'll be folding it this is just one of the sides this is the other side now So I'll just make use of this one and then I'll fold it this way. So I just folded this is one of the size, don't forget. I just placed my tape this way as if it wants to stand. Then measured my half length, the half length plus my allowance. So I just marked it. Then from the tip, it mean I marked that part. I just took my tape to the upper part, just this way, and then I'm marking my waist measurement right now from the tip of the tape don't forget that i kept the tape straight first you know i made the tape like rest on the material like as if it's sitting down then i marked my half length before i went to mark it from the tip of the material so from here now how going i'm going to be measuring my the length of my gown the length i want it to be don't forget that this is not starting from this is starting from my half length so i am marking the length from my half length down what length i want it to be so i mark 30 and then i will go back from and start from this side i'll be starting from this side then to meet that place where i marked that 30 inches you know it's going to be more than 30 because formerly i didn't mark from the beginning i marked from where i, I marked my half length then i started from the tip to do this i pinned my tip to the upper part because the distance between the you know material is a bit far so i just pinned it so i now started placing my tape round just this way marking the whole length so this is just it i'm cutting it out so i'm going to be placing this part this part now i just cut now is the front i'm going to be placing this material this front part that i just cut now on top of the other part the other side this other side now I'm going to be placing it on this side. Don't forget that I have two sides of this material. When I folded it in, into two, like a scarf, I had two sides. So I'm, I just placed that one on top, leaving my zip allowance. And I just cut. Once you cut that front part, you're halfway done. In fact, you're virtually done. So I am just marking my zip allowance. Then this is all. This is all. So for that down part, that's all for it. For this upper part, I'm just go. I'm just going to go ahead to mark my basic body measurement. This includes my neck, my shoulder, my armhole, my shoulder slant. So I am just measuring my neck depth from this part. I am measuring my neck depth to meet my neck width. This is what I'm just doing. Now I didn't use the neck width of 3, I just wanted to use 5, but you can still change it, it can vary with what you want, it depends on what you want. So I'm just marking my armhole right now, don't forget that in the front armhole, I'm going to be coming out by half inch, 
then i'll use my armhole cuff and mark the armhole right now what i'm doing is that i'm just lowering the neck a bit so that it's not excuse me so that it's not too high so i'm coming up by half inch here this is for my front armhole not for the back i'm not going to be using the same cutting for my back so this is it so while i'm at this if you are here to subscribe to my youtube channel kindly subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified every time i upload a new video thank you and to my returning subscribers i'm really grateful i'm really grateful that i can count on you thank you so much for always coming back to check up on us to know what the new video that i have put up on this channel thank you so i just came down by one inch for my shoulder slant and then i marked my chest my bust my bust is 10 plus 2 inches i have 12 then i did the same for the waist i still added two inches and then i just joined my bust to my waist i marked my waist added two inches and then joined it to my waist just this way so after doing this i'm just going to go ahead and cut it and that's it for this dress now for this side this is for my sleeve i'm just going to use a very simple sleeve i came down by four inches here then i'm just going to mark till i get to that top side and that's almost every other thing i'll go ahead and mark my sleeve length how long i want it to be and then the round sleeve how big or small or slim i want it to be and that's it for this sleeve i'm just going to go ahead and turn the neck of my dress with a bias then start sewing the clothes doesn't really need a lining so i'm not sewing it with a lining it's a very simple gown that you can sew within a very short period of time yet you look so fine in it so i, I just went ahead to put my dart on the two sides of this dress I put the dart and then after the, putting the dart for the front I went ahead to put the dart for the back and then I pinned up the zip allowance the zip allowance because I want to use a bias I'm going to be turning but it's not compulsory that you must use a bias you can still turn this fabric just twice turning it inside twice then sewing on it it depends on what you want to use but me I'm going to be using a bias for this so i'll just use a bias and turn the neck i have joined the lower part of this dress and this is it so i will fix my zip right now once i fix my zip i'll put the bias first before I, I fix my zip i'm going to join it then pin my zip allowance then put my bias first before i fix my zip At this point I'll be putting my I'll be sewing in my zip and the zip I'm going to be using is an it's a it's an invisible zip in our next video I'll be doing a video on how to fix this zip it's so simple to make so I joined the rest of the dress and it just came out very well and you can see the dropless is so fine it's so fine and simple to make thank you for watching